Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dahlia Orth and I'm a system strategist and a HoneyBook Pro. And I love building efficient, streamlined, and easy systems for business owners behind the scenes to help give them time and freedom back in their life and business. So if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and never miss a video when it gets released. So make sure you subscribe below so you're always in the loop of new videos that come out. So in today's video, we're actually going to talk about the HoneyBook scheduler tool. So another common question I always receive as a HoneyBook Pro is, can the scheduler do what other scheduler platforms do? I see there's one in HoneyBook, but how does it actually work? And I'm actually going to give you a behind the scenes tutorial today of the scheduler tool in and of itself. But I first want to touch on what the scheduler can do and what it can't do. So the scheduler can obviously help you schedule like appointments. You can share a link to your clients to schedule a time with you to schedule consults, discovery calls, things like that. It cannot actually take payment right now. So it's not like a Calendly where you can actually take payment and have people pay for a session with you and then schedule it. Now there are some creative end arounds in HoneyBook for how to do that, but actually like putting the scheduler together and having them take payment all in one is not an option right now. Other big thing is questions. So in Calendly, you can actually have a few like questions that people answer as they book a call with you. Now, HoneyBook has a questionnaire option in a smart file that they can do, and then you can actually link your scheduler in there. But as far as sending the scheduler link and having them answer some questions as they're booking with you, that is not an option either. That's really the primary differences between the HoneyBook scheduler platform and different platforms offered out there. And then of course, the other ones you have to pay for, whereas HoneyBook is built into your subscription. So what it can do is obviously you can schedule your times with your clients. You can redirect people to a landing page after they schedule. So if you wanted to redirect them even to like a QuickBooks invoice or something to find creative end arounds like that, you have the ability to do that. And it can also sync with your calendar. So you can do like an Outlook, an Apple calendar, a Gmail calendar, all from HoneyBook. And you can actually have it send reminder emails and a confirmation email and choose whether or not you want to cancel or reschedule, allow your clients to do that. So there are a variety of things it can do. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough behind the scenes of what it can do. So you have an awareness of what it is capable of. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's look at the scheduler settings and build a scheduler out ourselves in here. When you first come into HoneyBook, you'll actually be on the main dashboard page and you want to come up to tools and you'll click on scheduling here, and then this will bring you to this scheduler. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna sign into your email platform calendar and sync your calendar on this side. So I have my Gmail calendar in here, but you can also do Apple, you can do Outlook, you can do a few other options to sync your calendar within HoneyBook, and it's a great option. So that way when meetings come in here that people schedule with you, it'll show up on your HoneyBook account and it'll all sync together. So if we're going to build a new session, I'm going to click on this and let's title this, maybe we'll title it Discovery Call, okay? And then we're going to call this a video probably and we're going to do a video type. So I actually have my account integrated with Zoom. So you can see that a Zoom meeting will automatically be generated, like a link will automatically be generated when the session is scheduled. So I don't have to actually worry about going into my Zoom account, creating the invitation, all of those things. Because of this integration, HoneyBook, Zoom will actually take care of making the link for me and I don't have to worry about that. So I love that integration in here. And so then I'm on the East Coast, so I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna say it's a 30 minute call. You can choose whatever color is most fits well with your brand. So maybe this gold one would fit well with mine. Any specific instructions you have for getting started. And so like for your client beforehand. So maybe you say, hey, think about these questions before you come in or excited to get to know you. Whatever those instructions might be to prepare for this discovery call. You can put that in here and then you want to set up your reminder. So you typically I have this as one hour before and one day before, but you can set that up based on whatever is best for your own business. And you can usually only do two in here. So just have that in mind that you can only do one hour or if you want to do 24 hours before and then maybe 72 hours before, whatever that looks like. And then if you want to decide if you want it to send to you as well. And then you come down to your availability and you just come in here and you click on the box to edit this. Now, I typically suggest to people to do their availability usually a month out. So typically we know our schedule around a month out and we can come in and put our availability in every single month. So I always say for maintenance purposes, come in and just decide that you want to put your 
availability in every month. So it's very up to date as best as you can have it. And then you just pick your times, whichever times work for you. So let's say it's like a 10, 15 to a four o'clock. And I only can do that on this Monday, but I can't, I can't do that every Monday. So if I can't do it every Monday, I'm going to uncheck this box. But if every Monday I know from 10, 15 to four that I'm available and I can take discovery calls, I will leave that checked, that box checked right here. Now, let's say I wanted to do 10, 15 to 1230, and I wanted to add in another time from 1 to 3 p.m. You can actually add these multiple times in there for yourself if you want within the scheduler. And then you just click save. So you can see that now it's with the times that I put in there. And then you just want to put that in for the availability for each week within your scheduler. So you can go do that. And then you can decide if you want buffer, minimum notice, or custom increments down here. You just toggle this on and off if you want that. And the final piece is the confirmation. Now, actually, you cannot do much with the confirmation page. You can't actually edit the confirmation page at all, but you can decide if you want to send a confirmation email, which I would recommend, and then if you want to allow rescheduling or cancellations beforehand. So that's really up to you how you want to do that, but I would recommend definitely sending a confirmation email so people receive the confirmation and they can just file that away in their inbox and have an easy way to access it when it's time to meet with you. So then when you're done, you just click save and finish. And then from here, we're going to click copy. You can also grab the link from here to copy the link and embed it into an email template or like a button on your website, something like that. You also want to preview it. So that link will just go directly to the preview right here. And then you can see if we come in here, I can click on one of these days and you can see my availability is in here now. And I hit continue and then my client can just fill that out there and it comes directly within my HoneyBook. So that's how you would get started with the scheduling tool in HoneyBook. And as you can see, there's no options for this beforehand or payment, but there are a couple of creative end around options behind the scenes if you wanted some questions and things like that involved with your scheduler.